What's up, everybody? Just out here at the jetty, uh, doing a little fishing. I'm working on two kind of longer videos right now. I'm kind of getting a little burnt out on them. So I just came out here today. I'm doing some vlogging. Been out here since sunrise, but nothing really happened. And then uh, I just got on some fluke and there's Bonito around right now. So we we'll kind of mix it up with them and then uh, yeah, see what we can get ourselves into. But uh, thanks for joining. Let's do some vlogging. As soon as I switched to chartreuse, the, I just started slaying the fluke. No other color was working.
definitely on them now. There's there's either bluefish or mackerel rolling in. They're right to my left. Second I switched to chartreuse, I'm really getting a lot of them. It's interesting. Or did they just start biting? I don't know. Second that I switched to chartreuse with the, the cast master. Oh, mackerel are here. Yeah, those are definitely mackerel. Wonder if they'll come close. They're not close enough right now, but they might. A lot of bait around the jetty right now, so we might get a chance at them. They're a little out of casting range right now, but they might come close. Got him. Yep, these are mackerel. They don't seem very big. But they are mackerel. Oh, they're bonito. Wow. Little bonitos. Sick. Little bonitos, that's cool. Let's keep them. I'm not seeing them anymore. They just did a little frenzy, but I think they're all the way out there now. That's kind of how it goes with the pelagics and uh, shore fishing. You kind of just got to be there at the right time, you know? Pelagic, sorry. The pelagic, pelagic, whatever. Oh, I think I got another one. I think I just got him. Right as I said it. I think this is another one. Maybe a bluefish? Kind of feels like one of those bonitos. Oh, it's a Spanish. Oh my gosh. So there's Spanish. Oh my gosh, sick. The cast master's getting it done. Spanish and Bonito. That's so sick. I thought that I saw them. Oh no. No. I think I can get them. I think I can get them. Oh 
Oh, he's right there. Oh, I'm so close. I think I can go out the other way. Oh, he's coming towards me. Oh, he just slipped in that crack. Shit. I think I could get him from this side. Ugh. Spanish mackerel and bonito for breakfast. Sick. So I saw a Spanish bust out of the water, and so that's why I thought those bonitos were Spanish, but I guess it's a mix. So that's cool. We're having Spanish mackerel and bonito for breakfast. Slowing down out here. I'm so surprised I haven't gotten annihilated by bluefish. Yeah, I'm gonna roll out of here while my fish is fresh. Pretty dead, honestly. I'm not really seeing anything now. Now the tide really started moving. I really don't see any action anymore. I'm gonna end it with you, Mr. Robin. I wanna fly away. Well, I did it again. I went fishing at first light. Got this mackerel and uh, bonito here, but I went fishing at first light. I gotta wake up at 2.30 in the morning to get to that spot at first light. So I just didn't go to bed last night and I went to bed. I put this, the mackerel and the bonito in salt water and then I went to bed because I was exhausted and now it's 7.30 at night. <laughs> so this vlog is a disaster, but um, I guess I'm going to get some close-up shots of these and eat them for dinner. Um, if you've never had Spanish mackerel or bonito before, I would say the bonito is a little more fishier than the Spanish mackerel, but they're both pretty good. I mean, if you don't like fishy fish, I'm drinking my coffee and eating my honey. I got this one last night, and this honey is like already halfway gone. I've been like Winnie the Pooh Bear lately. Just woke up, so I'm scatterbrained. I'm just gonna have to listen to me ramble. This is a weird vlog. I like it. Uh, but the Spanish mackerel is like one of my favorites. I love all the mackerel family because it's kind of like bluefish, but a little less fishy, I guess. It's pretty good. I'm a big fan of, of the mackerel. It kind of has like a fishy taste, but on the lighter side of uh, meat quality. And the bonito is uh, I'll get some close-up shots when I fillet these guys up, but the Bonito is like a, a more red meat. Um, they're both kind of mushy, I would say, like sort of mushy meat. Um, it's be definitely much better to get them on ice as soon as you catch them. You know, I was just on my bicycle. Um, so these guys have been off ice for, they were off ice for I think three hours, and I came home, put them in this salt water, and then went to bed and now I'm really confused. But cool vlog, it's nice to document the confusion, honestly. Um, let me know if you like the vlogs. I, I haven't really done one. I did one the other day, I'm gonna put that out before this video or I caught another Spanish mackerel, but been a little more focused on the refined edits lately, longer refined edits, and they take me a really long time to do. So sometimes the vlogs are nice to mix it up and just keep it simple. But got my B.O.B. NYC shirt on. I've been making my own shirts for, gosh, like, it's 
2023. I think I started making my own shirts in 2014. Um, I've never like sold them or anything. I just give them to people. But yeah, pretty cool morning of fishing. First like hour, I deleted all the footage, but caught some couple fluke. Uh, I got bit off by a bluefish and like a ton of sea robins. And then I deleted that footage and then started rolling uh, with the next fluke, which I got on the chartreuse. It's weird, I was using pink and white all morning. I wasn't getting any fluke. And then as soon as I switched to chartreuse, I started getting started getting fluke. So I'm not sure what the deal with that is, but it's definitely like a reminder that I need to mix up the colors more um, when I, I when they're not biting. So it was kind of cool. So I was just getting all sea robins and the second I switched to the chartreuse, I started getting hits. So I'm gonna uh, definitely be a little more diligent on changing colors because it was night and day the second I switched to that chartreuse. But thank you for watching and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.